talking? Shut your mouths. We are about to tell you bedtime stories. How do you like that? It's awesome. And it's a fun part. There are no rules to this because we already know all the rules, so you don't have to. So I don't have to give you a spiel. Cheer for that. The order in which we tell the stories. So, starting from this side. Who wants Italy to tell his story first? Romano. <laughs> 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 Who wants Romano to tell his story? I'm sorry, I forget about the southern half. <laughs> Would you like the kiss to make up for it? Who wants Romano to tell his story? Are you telling a story? Everyone who is telling a story, raise your hands. Who wants Germany to tell a story? Who wants ca Canada? I've been there. 
notion about the divisional commander, he'll be fired, the men are uneasy. The poles have reached a wood about three versts from us and posted them a screeching gun somewhere close to us. Bullets fine and squeal. Somebody make noise. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> the complaint mounts unbearably. Bullets struck the earth and burrow into it, trembling with impatience. Fuck this name! Go! Get it back! Fight there, Gaichenko! The divisional commander who was snoring in the sunshine. <laughs> On the floor of Apple, you are snoring in the sunshine. <laughs> the sunshine. That's <laughs> great lighting. <laughs> Snore. <laughs> Cried out in his sleep and woke up. <laughs> Carl Aiden, <laughs> out. What's going on? He mounted his horse and rode off towards the vanguard's function. His face was crumpled, lined with red streaks from his uncomfortable nap and his pockets were pork full of plums. <laughs> Russians are beer. <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> he said crossly and spread out a bit of his mouth. <laughs> and you can say the rest, I need to bleep that for you. Here is a rotten mess. Unfurl the standard Tim... Timoshka! <laughs> Timoshka! Who is Timoshka? Mm -mm. You can be Timoshka! <laughs> oh dear. Going to the gate and move on or what? Asked Timoshka, disengaging the staff from his stirrups and unrolling the banner on which there was a star and some words about the third international. Fight for your guide to go! No, where to go? That's Said bye to my invitation call and suddenly yelled wildly. Hey girls to horse, squadron commanders call your men. The buglers sounded the alarm. The squadrons formed the common. Out of the ditch climbed a wounded man, screening himself with his palm, said to fight a guide call. A wounded man. Chris, you can miss a wounded man. <laughs> 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 All right, wounded man, said to fight I got you cool. To fight I got you cool. <laughs> Taras Grievich, I am a... Grigoryevich. Grigoryevich, I am a delegate. Looks as if we were to be left behind. <laughs> You'll push the wall. Muttered by I got you cool, making his horse to rear. <laughs> We sort of feel we won't, Taras Grigorievich, said the wounded man after him. If I take, I should go turn to him. I'm not likely to leave me behind. And he gave orders to move off, and at once there rang out the whimpering, womanish voice of my friend, Afonka Pira. without raising his eyes. The regiment set out. Who is saying that? Is that you? <laughs> the notion about the version of commander is right. Maybe Whispered of Onka lingering behind. Is, he's to be fired, then we are done for, period. Tears streamed from his eyes. I stared at him in amazement. He spun around like a top, grabbed in his cap, wheezed, whooped, and swept bed away. Christian, with a silly 
big heart and I. You can be Christian. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> 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 